yes welcome everyone in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to send a uh, email using php on a live server so we are going to be sending uh, an email uh, on a live server using php so let's get started so the first thing i want to do is whenever a user fill this particular form we should be getting the mail on the live server using pure php so let's get started i'll go to my vs code this is my visual studio code and this is my html form just a normal form that has the action the form method as post it has the name the input field as first name it has the, the input field here as last name it has the email as email name as email it also has the address and the name of the address the text area field as address then it has the button the type is submit and the name is submit these are the necessary field uh, things you need to do uh, for you to start using your php so now that i've given this the name of the of the field let me go declare my php at the top i'm using an internal styling an internal php for now so i'll create my php tag and close the tag so the first thing you need to do is to check if the user clicks on the button if user clicks on this button we want to know if the user actually clicks on this button then we cannot take uh, the necessary step so i'll use the if statement say so if it's set if uh, the user clicked on that button remember the name of the button is submit so make sure the name tallies with what you're doing if the user click on this button if the button is set as it means when the user clicks on this button then what and what should happen so when the user clicks on this button yeah so we want to check if the user actually clicks on this button then what should we do the next thing we want to do when the user clicks on this button is to retrieve the form data i've showed you the form data earlier the email the name the last name first name and the address so we need to retrieve the form data so let me comment this as retrieve retrieve the form data that's the next thing so i will give this a very good name as first name first name um okay so let me just take this off i only need just a few of these guys so i just did that to go and waste my time so the first name the last name the email it is a post method don't forget that because you're saying that name so the next thing is to put the address so we don't have a password field what we have is an address an address so yeah it's going to be an address an address so this is the first thing we need to do retrieving the data the form data now after you retrieve the form data the next thing is to what sets uh puts uh the variables does the variables into a header uh, into the headers variable so i'm going to create a header variable so i'll come here and say set the header set the header variable the header variable so i'll say headers equal to then i can come here and put the from from where it's coming from now what i want to do is whatsoever fill this form i want to get the name the last name the email and uh the email and the address of whosoever that will fill this form i want to get their details that's why i'm storing it in the headers variable so i'll say from then the first name from the first name from the first name okay then i'll put a space here or continue this so and i also want to get the last name the variable last name sorry about that okay last name last name so get the last name so let me concatenate it now i want it to come to i want this to be placed in the next line uh, using the php uh, and next slice end of line which is four slash n and four slash harrow so what i'll basically do here i'll come here and i'll put my four slash harrow then four slash n 
so let me come down and do for email sorry i'll do for email so then i'll come here i'll say email same thing then i'll come down here again and do the same thing let me get the address the address so i'll say address address so i do the same thing concatenate it so i can go to the next line so you can go to the next line so this is address so i have to put my quotation mark here i have to do the quotation i didn't put the quotation mark here sorry about that so i put the quotation mark here then address i don't need to do this also here I take this guy out then email yeah so let me put a colon so that you can just come here and just or is it needed so this is the from the address the email okay so no problem i'll just set this so the next task here I will, that i want to do now the next task here i want to do let me just put email so that you can able to differentiate that this is an email field an email okay so email you know, this then this is address you can just come here and put address address okay so good so this is the headers now after we set the header the next thing is to what now create a method that will send the email so here i'll come here and say create a method create a method a method to send the email just to send the mail or send the email let me use the email okay so i'm going to use the if method as if may I'll come and say if this may so yeah this will take uh, uh, four parameters the email of the person the same person sending the email the the subject the message and the header so the email so i'm going to come here let me go create yeah, my c panel i'll come here my c panel then i already created the subdomain already create the subdomain so you click on domain so there's a subdomain i created earlier this is i want to use this, this domain and i've already created an email for this domain so let me show you the email how you can get the email so in, on your own cpanel dashboard you click on you look for the email section click on email account so this is these are all email and these are all emails so i'm going to use, use this particular email called info at queen dot af so if you, let me check what is in the email open so you can see there's nothing here in this email if it is blank so i want to use this particular one so i'll come here the first parameter here will be that particular email so i my quotes i'll paste that here so the next parameter here will be uh it does the subjects so i'll come here and say registration form registration form registration form so the next parameter here will be the message message can be option and optional let me just put message or it's optional let me just put message or just put you have being registered that was a message then the next parameter is the headers this particular header the variable headers that is the next parameter headers so if this main method works we should be able to tell the user that uh, he or she has sent a mail so i'll say echo echo registration successfully 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 registered or registration successfully done. Successfully done. Okay. So S, if it doesn't, if this doesn't work, then what should we do? I'll use the S conditional state. S, I'll say S, echo registration fail. S, echo registration fail. 
so this is just the basic things that you need to do while you're creating uh, a main functionality using php so i'm going to save this and make sure that there's no errors in our code i think last name email okay i think we are good to go so i save this so i'll go to my uh to my local dixie because i'm in local host local dixie i'm using zamp click on zamp then htdocs i need to let me delete this one so i need to extract this folder the members folder the members folder is what i'm working on my vs code if you notice this is members folder so i need to extract it because i can only upload extracted file on my on my c panel so i right click the members then click on compress zip folder i want to compress the zip folder which i've just done so you can see the members this is what i'm going to upload on my live c panel so i'll go to my c panel go to my c panel let me click my c panel so you remember i said i created a subdomain so i'll go locate my go to the domain section click on domains so the the subdomain i want to use is queen.ailff.com so i'll click on public underscore html so it is in this place that i'm going to what upload my upload my zip folder so i'll click on upload then click on select file then locate that zip folder the members zip folder which is this click it so wait for it to upload it so it has finished uploading the members zip folder so you click on this link so this is the members links folder so what we want to do now is to right click here right click it then obviously i want to extract this click on extract files close so i've extracted the files you can refresh the browser to see the files that you've extracted which is this so i don't need the zip uh, folder again i can take it off by deleting it okay so let me click the members folder so you can see the code in the members folder so let me quickly check what is in our index if that php if it actually um, tally with what we have in our vs code okay it tallies okay good so now i want to move these files all these files here i want to move it to the to the roots of my subdomain so i will click on select all then right click then move click on move so i don't want it to be for slash members i want it to be just be the root of my subdomain that's all so that's why i want to have to remove the for slash members or the members of and i click on move files so i'll click up one level okay so i've just done that so let us see if our subdomain is working and if our if we're able to send emails so yeah i'll call me click put in the tab and paste this so i'll take the public underscore html off and press enter so beautiful so we posted this website so we want to now check if we can actually send uh an email via this platform so let me just put someone's name let me put michael last name jackson email mike mj50 at gmail.com address uh number two yeah, um beverly i don't know <laughs> beverly is america okay so let me click on submit registration successfully done you can see that on the screen registration successfully done so let me go to my email that is this so let me refresh this email so you can see registration form so let me click on this you can see you have been registered you can see that you have been registered 
so we got that you have registered so um we have able to send the email and we are receiving the email so what i want to do i want to get instead of getting only you have registered i want to get the details the user details that's what i want to get now so i'll go back to my c panel go back to my sub directory panel so the index.php i'll right click it and go to edit sorry take this off edit click on edit so where i have message i can take this message off so that it will give me the person's details that just registered in my email i click on save change okay so let us try it again so let me save this and try registering michael jackson so michael jackson michael jackson michael jackson email mj uh number two beverly beverly is america or usa so let me click on submit so registration successfully done we have been able to register michael jackson so let's go to our email now and let's refresh the browser to see if we're getting email so we are getting it you can see registration form so let me click this fantastic you can see i'm getting michael jackson uh, email fj50.com address to beverly hills so you can see we are able to send uh, the mails now you can see how beautiful it is we need to send the mail let me send another mail let me register my set my name i'll put um ns that's my name my address is my address so i click on submit so beautiful i have submitted and i've registered successfully so let me check my email then refresh the browser fantastic so i click on registration form and this is it from ns Isibo, uh email and this is my address so i believe you were able to enjoy this tutorial and you've seen how to send an email using php on a live server so please if you enjoyed this particular tutorial endeavor to subscribe like share and comment in this particular youtube channel so we're going to give you more more info immediately you subscribe please subscribe and